You're recently named to the Hall of Fame for the uh, International Franchise Association. You are the first solo woman to be named to the Hall of Fame. Mm. And obviously, I mean, enormous organizations involved, you know, McDonald's, Marriott, Subway, etc. Well, what does that feel like? Yeah, um, it was surreal uh, when I when I received the call um, that I'd be receiving that. And, you know, I don't I don't need that kind of recognition. I, I just am so grateful that I'm at a place in my faith life where that's the worldly things just aren't important. Yet there is always a side of you that says, well, that, that's kind of cool. That's kind of nice. But uh, um, when I got the call, I thought this is a God's got a plan here because why else am I receiving this? You know, really, there are so many other people who are um, so much more deserving of this recognition than, than I am. And I just, you know, so I just was very prayerful about God. What do you, what's the plan here? You know, why am I receiving this? This is incredible. And my father had received it um, after he had passed away, which was a beautiful thing to celebrate. He, he deserved it. But I, you know, I, I didn't feel as deserving as um, I felt he, he was. And so God had a plan. And I, I think it all ended at the... Uh, the actual annual convention in San Diego just this this February, where I had the opportunity to just say a few words, um, thanked a lot of people because none of us get to where we are in life without the help of a lot of people. And you can never remember, I could never remember all the people that have helped me. So I did my best to acknowledge, you know, those those folks um, who, who I believe were instrumental in, in helping form me. Um, but at the end of the, the talk, it was really all about the wisdom the wisdom that I gained in the 39 years of working with amazing people and, and working at the International Franchise Association with incredible people. And, you know, some of the the most intimidating, what could be intimidating leaders of very large organizations were the nicest people I, I found to be some of the nicest people you could ever meet. Yeah. And uh, everybody's got a heart. Everybody's got a heart. And if you just give time for people to show you their heart, it's amazing. Um, it's the everybody's got the right known perspective thing. So, so my words at the um, the acceptance was, you know, I I've learned three key things that I need to get better at, and I'm still working on these things today. One is to be, you know, more more generous, and then to be more humble. Um, you know, I've I've been prideful. You know, sometimes I think I'm the one who's made this happen, and it's the farthest from the truth and then to be more loving. And I love St. Thomas Aquinas's definition of love is to will the good of another. I love everybody. If that's the definition I'm using, as much as some people have hurt me, I still love them because I want the best for everybody. Yeah. I, only, I only want what's good for people. And then thanks to you, I, I kind of wrapped it up with a, a fourth. I said, if you really want to get good at those three things, which I want to get really good at, um, you got to spend some time in the classroom of silence. Mm. And I encourage them just the 10 minutes the 10 minutes is what I learned from you that your mentor taught you. Um, 10 minutes of the classroom of silence and pray. And I shared that my favorite prayer is I will be done. Constantly praying, I will be done, I will be done. And that's how I closed my talk. And, and uh, you and I are both speakers. And you know, I, my goal is always, if I can just somehow touch one life in this room of 3,400, then it was worth this opportunity to say a few words. And just, I had more people than one come up and I'm grateful for that. But one person came up to me who said it was exactly what she needed to hear, and she was just in tears. Mm. She was from another country, and uh, it was a blessing. It was a real blessing. But God had a plan. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know who else might have been touched um, by those pearls of wisdom that I gained from other people. 